let's go over 20 useful things that most of you probably didn't know or you're not using. I'm sure that you will like the 12th one, which will counter the cheaters. Let me know what you think people don't know or don't use, but you do. So, let's start. Countering Mozzie with a standard drone and free things. Did you know that you can jump over the pests, jumping over the radius depending on their location, especially if not put perfectly from the defenders? Let's make jumping slightly easier. Did you know that you can see the pest with the drone without the pest capturing your drone? If it is put on the side of the doors or on the top of the drone hole or even in the destructible part. This is really handy for the Twitch mains. How do you counter pests on the top of the staircases or other similar places? To figure that out, did you know that pests make sounds the closer you are to them, as you will be able to see right now? You can check if it is on the left or the right side and try it yourself. The pests will be on the left side. An additional tip is to use fences to get away from the pests, metal or wooden. Also keep all these tricks in mind if you're mozzy. We'll counter now air jobs as a defender. Did you know that you can shoot any air job because the air job gets triggered by the mass center? Leaning to see the air job will help you with that. And the air job won't get activated. Air job makes a lot of noise so that should be pretty easy to see where it is. Or you can enter whilst leaning by the door frame and then unlean. Or you can quickly lean and unlean by the door frame to trigger the air job and not to be kicked off. A bonus tip will be, due to the delay of the claimer's activation, you can enter in the lasers and immediately turn back to activate claimer and get zero damage. Are you wondering if an inactive drone, a drone that doesn't emit any light, was hijacked from the mozzie? Or not, as an attacker? Well, yellow ping it. It will be red if enemies. Or blue ping if the teammates. You probably knew due to my barricade guide a year ago that you could prep a wooden barricade for a run out or a flank with hitting the same corner twice. Just to make the hole smaller. But did you know that you could put zero traces on the castle barricade by doing the same trick? Melee it 11 times in this corner and no malachos will be visible, and then thank me later. And this is the 12th tip. Are you playing against a cheater? Add them up, and that way you will see when they are online or offline. You can on the Ubisoft Connect add nicknames to anyone, so feel free to give them a lovely nickname. Mute mains, what's the radius of the jammer? There is actually no radius. And because of that, a wall was open in the Pro League due to that. The radius of the jammer is actually ellipse. The so-called radius is bigger in front of the jammer rather than on site. So keep this in mind when trying to mute the walls like this. Let's go to the Pro clip. Harder for Team Empire to, uh, to be able to do that again. Some Xkairos go off, but the Mute Jammer there will prevent the majority of those pellets detonating. Are you having issues with walking on the parkour spots? Consider sprinting rather than anything else, because for some odd reason, the game will give you the wall prompt in some situations when it wouldn't, if you will be on the normal running, like on these theme park yellow stairs. After Jaeger and Wemai got nerfed, Ever thought of defending your deployable shield by standing up and eating the follow-up concussion mines on the Zofia? Usually the concussion mines are coming in pair. This could work against an attacker with the flashes as well, as attackers usually use two if not three flashes in a row, and you can use it to stand up and pick them quickly to get a free kill. On the other hand, if the shield is too close to the wall, use an explosive onto it, so the ADS on the other side does not have a line of sight onto the explosive. Did you know that IQ can see the echo on the camera? A 
as well as Clash and she's zapping the takers. The founder of this chick can be found in the description. But have you ever noticed the finger moving during the cooking the frag grenade animation? Yellow ping the ceiling, 7 meters, and wait for the finger tape. And that is it. Keep this in mind that this can be pretty situational. In a lot of other situations, you'll be further or closer to the 7 meters. Did you know that mute jammers make sounds when you're not on the drone? And the more closer to the jammer, the louder the sound is. This mute jammer is very similar to the pest trick. On situations like on the penthouse, you can very easily jump over them. The jammer is placed this way so it doesn't get destroyed from the big window. Did you know that airdrop won't get activated if defenders are in the failing animation, i.e. jumping out of the higher windows like pull on the penthouse? Well, you have to put the air jobs below. I'm sure that you know if windows have glasses, regardless if it is barricaded or not, that you cannot hear anything through them, or very barely. And as a defender, you have heard to destroy that glass, but not the barricade in the most situations. But have you ever thought of doing that when attacking against the runouts? Well, consider doing that. Do you need to find a teammate to play? Join up my community's Discord server with nearly 2000 active members. A long time ago, before everyone, I had showcased a visual trick to be next to a drone but not show the visual bars, but did you know that it was fixed? This technique was really important for the takers when droning out the staircases. If there would be visual bars, then visual could be either on the same level or below for 6 meters. Did you know that you can relatively quickly destroy the saw hatches with the pistols? Destroying saw hatch with primary guns was always known and most people think it's a slow process. But if it is done with two or even more people, try to shoot it out. It'll be done within one mag each. What you have to do is to be diagonally, so the least of your bullets goes through the hatch in the room below. The pistol quickness was found by the Kim the Knight. Have you ever thought of countering Thatcher with Mamai? There are so many similar locations like this. Thatcher will fruit the first EMP by the ground, and this will still be activated. Now the other EMP is a follow-up frag grenade denying the bandit trigger by the triple walls. Mamai's disc will eat it, and the frag grenade will do minimum to zero damage to the bandit trigger, and you just counter the Thatcher. Let's wrap this video with the three similar techniques. The newest one comes from the Nom Nom, by shooting the pallets in the middle of the two reinforcements. The second technique is mouth the wall, which is doing the two parallel lines to make a full wall soft, like these two. If practice it enough, 1.5 blow torches is only required. This might be patched in the future seasons, but it is a very similar technique as Maverick tricking. And the last technique is Hibana killing the wall, using 8 pallets to make the wall fully soft. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.